What's up my stats stars? In this video, we're gonna take a look at the 2024 AP Statistics free response question number two, and we're gonna answer it, hopefully, to perfection. All right, so here is the question. I thought this was a really nice, pretty easy question. A local elementary school decided to sell bottles printed with the school district's logo as a fundraiser. The students in elementary school were asked to sell bottles in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, and the relative frequencies of the number of bottles sold for each size at the elementary school was 0.5, 50%, 0.3, 30% for medium bottles, and 0.2 for the large bottles, or 20%. A local middle school also decides to sell the bottles as a fundraiser using the same three sizes, small, medium, and large, and the middle, the middle school students sold three times the number of bottles that the elementary school students sold, and for the middle school students, the proportion of bottles sold was equal for all three sizes. All right, so the first question is actually really simple. They just want us to complete a segmented bar graph representing the relative frequencies of the number of bottles sold for each of the students at each school, elementary and middle school. So first, we've got to remember those proportions. At the elementary school, we were told small 50%, medium 30%, and large 20%. And at the middle school, we were told that they were all the same, which would be a 33.333 repeating split between all of them. So now we just got to kind of fill that in. So for the elementary school, we go all the way up to 50% here, and they want us to use small as like these lines here. So we're going to kind of shade that in with these lines. doesn't have to be too beautiful. And then on top of that, we're going to add 30% for the medium. So 50 plus 30 is going to be 80%. So it's going to take us to this 80% mark right here. And the medium is left blank or just stays white. And then the large is going to be the remaining 20%, which would be the 80, 80% 80 to 100%. So we're going to fill that in with our nice marker there as dark as we can shade that whole region in. All right. Now for the middle school, it's a nice even split, 33.3%. So again, that's going to be right about there for the small. And again, just kind of eyeball it there for the 33%. And then 33% stacked on 33% is, is going to be about 67 some percent. So we're looking at right around, you know, right around about just short of 67%. So, you know, maybe somewhere right around here, right? You don't have to be too exact. And then the remaining is going to be all of this here, right? All of this here, that's the large. Again, nice, even split, perfectly even between those three boxes. I mean, how easy is that question? Not too, too bad. All right, part B says an administrator at the elementary school concluded that the elementary school students sold more small bottles than the middle school students did. Is the elementary school administrator's conclusion correct? Explain your answer. Well, first, no, he is not correct. Now, before I reveal my full, nice, typed up answer, let's just think about it. He probably was simply looking at 50%, or maybe he just looked at this chart and saw, ah, look at the look at the lined region for small. Uh, clearly, elementary is bigger, 50%, 33.3%, 50% is bigger. I mean, proportionally, it's bigger, but we were told one crucial piece of information that the middle school told, sold three times as many total bottles. So here's my answer. The elementary school administrator's conclusion is incorrect. The administrator is just thinking about 50% is more than 33%. And yes, proportionally 50% is bigger than 33.3%, but not in terms of how many bottles are sold because the total number of bottles sold matters. The problems say that the middle school sold three times the total bottles. You know, so I made up an example. You know, so for example, if the elementary school sold a thousand bottles, that means the middle school sold three thousand. So at the elementary school, fifty percent of a thousand would be five hundred that were small. But at the middle school, thirty-three point three percent of three thousand is a thousand small bottles sold, and obviously a thousand is more than five hundred. So even though fifty percent is bigger, when it comes to you know a much bigger total. It's not always the case. You can even think about it algebraically. So if you think about algebraic, we just said the elementary sold X bottles because we actually, we don't know, but therefore the middle school sold three X bottles. Now at the middle school, we would take 50% of that X to get our total for the small bottles. At the middle school, we would take the 33.3% of three X, which would essentially be 0.999 X. Or if you actually keep it all those decimals, it would be one. 1x, 0.33 times 3, one third times 3 is 1, 1x. One so for any positive x value, for any actual amount of total bottles sold, 1x is going to be far greater than 0.5x, signifying that the school administrator had it wrong. And then the final question, we're now talking about two high schools who are also selling the bottles and are competing to see which one sold more bottles. Uh, excuse me, sold more large bottles. So we have here is a mosaic plot for the distribution of the number of bottles sold by each of the high school's 
shown below. Now, a mosaic plot not only shows the relative frequencies, but it also shows the size relative to the whole. And that's why we see two bars for the high school A and high school B, but the high school B bar is, is, is more area because that's showing that that percentage was worth more because it came from a larger sample size. So if you didn't know about mosaic plot, then that certainly helps. So the first question was actually really, really easy. Which of the two high schools sold a greater proportion of large bottles? Justify your answer. Well, here, all we got to do is look. Large bottles at high school A was about 70%. And large bottles at high school B look to be right around 60%. I mean, if you get a magnifying glass, you might even say it's a smidgen lower. But clearly, you know, if I said, which of the two high schools sold a greater proportion? Well, high school A sold a greater proportion. They sold 70% versus high school B sold 60%. But now the next question says, which of the two high schools sold a greater number of large bottles? And that would be high school B because that's what a mosaic plot shows. It shows the area that's relative to the whole. And we see that high school B, the large bottles in the shaded region there, has a far greater area than high school A. So uh, we don't even know how many they sold, but that's the whole point of a mosaic plot is it breaks it up so that you could get a better understanding, not just of what percentage were sold for each of the two different high schools for large bottles, but how much does that actually account for when it comes to its total size? And that's where we'd say high school B sold actually more large bottles. All right, that's it for FRQ number two. Hopefully it wasn't too, too bad. This was the exploring data problem. And that's exactly what we were doing in this problem exploring data through these different charts and so forth. And of all the different exploring data problems I've seen over the years, I think this is actually one of the easiest. So hopefully you scored well.